Hey Kiki here and welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well and just have a lovely day and today we're going to carry on playing Dragon Age Origins. So in the last episode we did, well I guess it was Shale's quest. <coughs> <coughs> we did her quest and we found out a little bit more about her and then we confronted, I actually can't remember her name, Liliana's boss. But I feel like there was some tension between them, so I feel like it was maybe a little bit more than just, you know, her boss. I feel like maybe there was, you know, something something went on there. I, I just have a feeling. Um, and that's basically all we did. It was a shorter episode compared to the rest of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she said she left. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Like, she literally sent assassins after Liliana when she was just trying to live her peaceful life. <coughs> oh my god um i'm still sick so i'm only gonna be doing two episodes this week because i'm ill and i don't have the brain capacity for any more so on that note guys let's get into it i mean they might be long episodes but i've literally been in bed because i feel like poo so let's should we talk to everyone? Who do I want to talk to first? I feel like Alistair's not gonna have anything to say. Maybe Ogren, he's kind of new. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. So, oh my, do you know what? My brain, I may. I thought I was not mentally prepared today, but you know what? It seems that my brain was mentally prepared. Okay, so yeah, what about? You and I, we've, you know how sometimes you spend time with people and things hmm. yes things okay people and things yeah okay um <clears throat> take your time i was thinking uh, i do know some people out here on the surface oh, a you? person actually the girl i knew in orzammar mm -hmm. before i left obviously okay a girl you knew or a girl you knew what? Oh, you mean were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I. After Bronca left for the deep roads, name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Oh God, Thought what did you I'd do? Maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Okay, do you know um how to find her? I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. Oh, okay. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. Okay, we can go there. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, don't do no, that. No, actually, That's that weird. would be gross. Yeah, don't no, do that. Uh, what was it you wanted to say? No, nothing, nothing. We're good, we're good. This conversation's All right. ended. All right, then. <laughs> Oh, okay, a new quest. Okay, so look up Felsi near Lake Kelhand. Kel Ke oh my god, I can't. My brain as actually Tentamish. <coughs> I've literally dosed myself up on cold and flu tablets because... Do you, know, you remember our discussion? Yes, of course. I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me. And mm. you were right. Yes. Despite what Marjolaine says. Oh, yes. I am not like her. I know that now. I found peace in knowing the maker. And nothing will change that. I followed you to make the world a better place. And as long as I keep that in mind, I will not fall. Sometimes it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. I'm just fabulous, really. Um, so do I get a reward? <laughs> no, I'll say it was my pleasure. I'm glad I left Lothering in your company. You have proven a true friend Me and I too. thank the maker for you. Honestly, imagine if I didn't find Liliana. Could you imagine, actually? My life would have been so difficult. I would not have been able to open anything until I found Zeb. Oh my god. That sounds actually quite awful. Plus, imagine if I didn't let Sten leave the cage. They would be dead right now. You and Sten would be dead. So you're welcome. I basically saved your life. Hey, Wynn. What's on your mind? I think I've already asked these questions. Nothing. It is no trouble. Um, ba -do -ba -do -dap. 
Let's see. There's nothing to read. So Something just... you need, my dear. No, nothing. Do you think Morrigan has anything to say? She hasn't really said anything about the grimoire. Or has she? I'm quite delirious right now, I won't lie. What comes, my friend? I'm going to see if she has. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean... Yeah, like, what now? Now actually? I have enough time to study Mother's Grimoire to find a way to prevent her from stealing my body in the future. Uh, for she okay. will be back. One day, I have no doubt of that. And if I cannot protect myself, one day I will track her down again in whatever body she inhabits, and she will die again and again if need be. Oh my god. But there is no need to think of such things now. I have you to thank for saving me, so let us return to the task of dealing with the Darkspawn, no? Sure. But, I mean, she's worried about... I thought she couldn't kill mm, Flemeth because... Otherwise, she would have inhabited her body if she was nearby. So wouldn't she just stay with me? Wouldn't that make more sense if she just... You know, she said that we're basically sisters. So why doesn't she just hang around with me? I'll look after her. Let us go. I know she... There is much to be done before. There is still much to be done. Okay, I didn't like the way she worded that. Um, but there's... I know she doesn't really like Alistair. But, like, if we have a big enough house, she can, like, stay in the far one side and we can see on the other side like i don't know why she's so worried about flemeth like i've got her back you know she said we're sisters which i hold close to my heart unless she, she was just saying that unless she was just saying that to get close to me um no i actually i don't know morgan is such a complex character she's very interesting like she really doesn't like i don't know showing her true colors i guess like, she doesn't like showing, like, her true self. She always, like... I feel like there's always something up her sleeve, you know? There's always something that she's not quite telling me. I feel like she wants to tell me. Like, just then. I feel like she kind of wanted to say something, but then she didn't. I don't know. I mean, I guess being brought up with Flemeth um, in the wilds, just you two. I, I, I guess. It would be... I don't know. There's just something about Morrigan that I just... I don't think she's necessarily evil. She doesn't seem evil to me. I just feel like she's not exactly... She's like a grey character. She's morally grey. But I feel like... I don't know. The way she was. I feel like she just care about my character. But... She doesn't want to get too close. That's that's how I perceive her. You know? So, um, let me take... Hmm, maybe I will bring Morrigan with me. Indeed. Why not? Come on, guys. Let's go. So we need to go to the lake. <coughs> so how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a lovely day. I have literally just had lunch. So I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever comes today. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? So do, do I have anything to say to you? Good to see you again. Hey, bud. Okay, so I'm guessing in here. There she is. Oh. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? Okay. I'll be your wingman. Oh, I'll, I'll be your wingman. I'm so excited. Sure, sure. Um, okay. Of course, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Warden. I got your back, bud. Okay, go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. Well, with my don't noodle arms? I not here. Well... Don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Oh, Agrin? God. Is that <laughs> oh, you? God. Yeah, in the flesh, baby. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. <laughs> fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, it's you know? So funny. You're fighting Darkspawn? Oh, oh, I have to intervene now. Okay, um... I'll say, this man took on an army of golems almost single-handedly. Yeah. It was a bit of pain, but... I got it was you a, a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? 
a whole surface to choose from, and you just happen to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... Uh... Oh. Oh, oh no. Uh, I don't... Mm, okay. What do I say? Should I tell her it's fate? Is that a bit cringy? Or should I just say he was looking for you, actually? If I say he was... I don't want to ruin this for him. I'm trying to be a good wingman. Um... Oh, screw it. I'll just whisper in his ear. What? Oh, right. <laughs> it's fate, Felsi. What can I say? <laughs> fate? No! My ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. <laughs> sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Bronto's behind. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. Oh my god, I'm a terrible wingman. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'll just say, um, okay, I'll whisper in his ear again. That seemed to work. Tell her you've been thinking of her. There you go. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Agrin? She doesn't seem into this, Agrin. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no. Well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. I, oh, I can lie for him. I'm gonna lie for him. We can't waste time here. The queen's waiting for us. I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna make him seem important, okay? Because she obviously thinks he is a drunken mess. Which, you know, I mean, she's not far off. But he's pretty funny. So I'm gonna lie for him. And hopefully she's like, oh, you are important. You must be fighting the Darkspawn. What a strong... A strong bearded man he is. I love him now. You know, I'm hoping that's what goes through her mind. So yeah, um, we can't waste time here. The queen's waiting for us. Oh, the queen needed a new fool, did she? Oh, oh well, work. it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're oh. leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings. It might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nug droppings. I'll tell you what, I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled, you frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. Is that the, is that the way of flirting? Oh, oh, okay. She's just... I just love how Morgan and Liliana just facing each other and, just, and now Morgan's just looking to the side she's like, nah, I don't want to look at you. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Um, we won't talk about her right in front of her, so we can we can do outside. So? <laughs> I still got it. I mean... <laughs> Wait, was that a success? Are you sure? <laughs> Weren't you watching? She could barely restrain herself. <laughs> oh my Might god. Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Um, sure. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Aye. All right then. <laughs> sure. That was funny. I enjoyed that. So. I think it's time to go to Redcliffe Castle and carry on with the, the main quest. I think we kind of wrapped everything up. So I feel like this is the next thing to do. So sorry, Ogren. I Oh, I, mm, okay. Well, I was going to get rid of you, but apparently I'm not allowed. So um, sure. I'm just gonna quickly. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, okay, well. That makes no sense. Sure. I've just made this so complicated, but don't judge me, okay? Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. There we go. That's. Li I just needed Alistair, okay? Like, that's literally all I needed. Okay, here we go. Come on, guys. Well done. Let's, oh yeah. yeah, you attack that. Go on. Yeah, good going. That was great. That was wonderful. 
Lovely. So, yeah, I think we're gonna carry on with the main quest. See uh, the all and Van Tegan. There he is. There's Van Tegan. I actually just can never get the image of him dancing out of my head now. And now because of that, his outfit looks ridiculous in my mind. Because he just looks like a silly dancing man in my every even if he he looks so serious right there but in my mind i can never get it out of my head um so yeah let's, let's i understand here. you've acquired all the allies you could yes that's good we can call the lands meet if you are ready i would prefer not giving Logain time to consider but it is up to you no nope. i do not wish to go to denerim unless you are with me i'm ready uh let's go excellent i shall make the arrangements let us be off to denerim and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. Oh, is that him? He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Oh. Logan, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Mm, interesting. Oh, should I call him out? Should I, should I, should I be like considering Ostagar? Perhaps we need a better general. Ooh. Um, or should I just say, if Anora rules, let her speak for herself. Uh, now nah, I'm going to call him out. He deserves this. And who is this, Eamon? Hello. Some new stray you picked up on the road. Don't you remember Here me? I thought it was only royal bastards you okay. played the nursemaid to. Wow. Oh, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. Okay, well, I should have just kept my mouth shut. I am Ilara of the Grey Wardens. Do you not remember me? I was literally the only elf in Ostagar. No, I wasn't. Never mind. I just remembered. There were the servant elves. And they, in yeah, they were mean to the serving elves. So maybe you just thought I was one of them. It's not like I have a huge staff that I could just shake and then poof, you, you're on fire. I'm sorry, I just don't like him. I do not like him, but yes, I'm Alara of the Grey Wardens. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. That's not what happened. Hmm. <laughs> I do not accept the sympathies of deserters. Hmm. Oh, should I say I have come to reveal your crime to Ostagar? You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. I can literally set you on fire. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Oh not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. Yeah. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Uh, so we need to kill you as well, it seems. Okay, you're on my list then. Hmm... That's a lot of ti um, of titles for one man to have. It is, to be fair. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Castro. Oh, this is not the I time don't like or you. place. 
I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. But do you see her work destroyed? You, you divide are. our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. That's all I... <laughs> okay, well, you're the one who started this. Listen, I understand that um, the king, he... He was a, in my opinion, he wasn't a bad guy. He just had big ambitions because his father was like, you know, he did some good stuff. So he wanted to also have like a victory and a glorious moment, but he was a bit stupid. He should have listened to Loghain in my opinion. He should have because Loghain is, he's a strategy man. Okay, he's a planner. So I understand Loghain's frustrations but yeah he, he sh i mean he got the king killed really like the troops were ready i you know i sent off the alarm i did the whole woo you know fight and they were like yeah nah we're out of here let's go so i understand like you know i understand his frustrations but he literally went against the king's orders and by doing so got the king killed so immediately by doing that he has literally caused a huge shift in Ferelden he literally has and now he's trying to like become king or well whisper nonsense in his daughter's ear do you know what I mean? Like, he's not doing a very good job. So I'm going to say you're the one that divided Ferelda because it's true, he did. By going against the king's orders and therefore killing the king, he has divided Ferelda. And he also tried to bloody poison the Arl, Arl Eamon. He literally tried to kill him. So, like, Loghain is out of control right now. We need to, like, put him back in his place. I was not talking to you. Okay. I cannot forgive <laughs> what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Well... Oh, is that all I have to do? Okay. No pressure. The Emperor Poor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Mm, I mean, you killed your king, you know, and caused chaos. The people are stressed now. So well, done. well, that was bracing. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Um, what do we do now? Calling the landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. I like that us. word, duplicity. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, okay. the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around. And see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. Okay. We can lay out our plans for the landsmate then. Bye. Okay, codex updated. High Ever. Castle High Ever has stood since the Divine Age when it was not blah, 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 when it was not an independent ba Bannon? Bannon? I think that's how it says. Um, and merely outpost um, of the growing Bannon of Amarinthian. In the days before Amarinthian became um, an Arling itself, the outpost of High Ever was originally held by the um, Elston family, cousins of the Howes. The house are evil, isn't it? That's the guy that we just met. Um, in the Age of Towers, however, Ban Com Conobar, Conobar? Elston um, was murdered by his wife, Flemeth. Oh my god, wow! I literally just realised what this... <laughs> Whoa, that took me a minute. Flemeth, she is everywhere. She is everywhere. Okay, so today, however, is one of um, the two remaining Tyrians making the um, 
Carlson family second in rank only to the king. Um, our Hal of Amarinthian was named the new tyrant of um, High Ever under somewhat questionable circumstances. Yeah, because he killed, he killed the other guy. He murdered him. Um, and the fate of the castle and family is now uncertain. Oh my god, that literally took me like a hot minute. And then and then I saw Flemeth and I was like, ah, I remember. I remember now. Okay. Oh, okay. So is this our new location? Wait, where's all my stuff? Mm. Okay. Well, I don't know where my stuff is. So that's not great. Hello, Shale. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. Please don't break everything. We're, we're guests. We're guests. Please, please don't break anything. I will be very mad. Very mad indeed. Okay, so... Hello. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? Hi, sorry. <laughs> My parcel just came. So that's why I was like, well, I just heard this sound in the background. I was like, no, I cannot miss my parcel. So yes, it is in the house now, safe and sound. Um, I actually can't remember. What say, I don't know. What were you? Oh, is this new? Do you stare at everyone like that? Not everyone, but a beautiful woman like yourself. Why not? I'm sure you draw many stares. I men mean, and even other women. Of course. Does this bother you? Oh, sorry. I mean, sorry. I just my big head. I was, you know, I was like me, but no. Alara also draws eyes. I mean, her mouth stresses me out. But apart from that, no, she's great. Um, does it bother you? Oh yeah, no, not really. No. But you would prefer I desisted, perhaps. Maybe don't it stare would be so difficult intensely. traveling as we do in close proximity, but <laughs> I am nothing if not a gentleman. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Zevran. How lovely you are. You're a gentleman that enjoys killing people. Um, I just can't trust you, Severin. Uh, I'll just say no, I really don't mind. You do, you, bud. Then I shall keep that in mind. <laughs> And perhaps even redouble my efforts. No. There was a young elven dancer in Antiva City once, and I believe I actually managed to stare off all seven of her skirts. It's a trick worth retrying. Now that that is out of the way, perhaps we should move on. With you in front, of course. Just gonna keep away from you for a bit. <laughs> this is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? It is. Something I can help with? We can actually sleep in a bed. A bed instead of the, the ground with sticks prodding into our backs and stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, nothing. I don't think so. Oh, this? Denerim is Ferelden's most I important think city, this. yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty. Just like the country and the people. <coughs> Wonderful. Let's move on. Who are you? I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. I shall. Mm. I shall indeed. Is this... That's the exit. Okay. That is also an exit. Who's in here? Oh, Ogren. Ogren, you have your own room, bud. How cool is that? <clears throat> right here, old pal. I literally can't. I, I can't with you, Ogren. I literally can't with you. What is, you know, you know, I just, right here, old pal. I mean, you know what? Okay. Okay. Sure. I'm just going to leave Aye. you alone. All you, right, then. With this huge chair in our way. But you carry on. You carry on doing your own thing, bud. Don't drink all their alcohol please i don't have the money to replace that i bet they have some you know strong stuff his lordship sends no notice he's coming and now the house is full of guests and dress day preservers this will be the death of me well just make sure ogren doesn't go into you know your wine cellar then you should be fine 
Hello. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Um, are you from Denerim? No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. Ah. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Oh. I mean, I could put in a good word for you. But, but, sure. Who's in here? Hey, little bean. Yes. Little bean. He barks happily, wagging his tail. Oh, I freaking love that dog. Hey, Sten. Why can't I? Hello. 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 Okay, well, I guess I will never know what that book is. Look at Sten staring into my soul. This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. What is your wish, Kadan? Uh, nothing. I just... What did he mention earlier? Speak, then. Was there anything? That's enough. Then Goodbye. I suggest we move on. Farewell. As you wish. Do you know what? I'm actually quite curious. Who are my companions going to be in Awakening? I hope that, like, I get to keep some of these guys. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? <laughs> She just has a little tantrum and then she's like hey bud how's how's it going uh, i will tell them to stop telling you if you want new clothes you know i will do that for you but yeah like i'm quite curious who i'm gonna have in my in my party can i open you and i'm off of course not why am i not surprised going um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. where are all of my belongings then? I guess we don't deserve any. Ah, Warden, I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Where's Alistair, actually? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, who is that? Actually, no, that, that's, I would say yes, very. I'll, I'll be Good, polite. because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena, she's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here Alina? to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Helena and Alara. Huh. Our names are very similar. Um, I say she works for Logan's daughter. She's a spy! No. <laughs> Immediately jump to the worst possible scenario. I would say, why would Enora ask for our help? Do you know what I mean? Like, wh why? Why? Hmm? Is she... Is she locked in a tower somewhere? You know, is that what is that what's going to happen? We're going to have to save her. Is has her father lost the plot that he's locked her away, and she's like up in some high tower? Like, please save me! My dad's gone crazy. The queen, she is in a difficult position. Hmm. She loved her husband, no, and okay. trusted her father to protect him. When he returned with no king and only dark rumors. What is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. Okay, I'm still seeing where our help comes in. So she goes to how? A uh, visit mm. from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum? That was a bad a matter of courtesy. Bad move. And she out. demands answers. Well, we met him and, you know, under how he got to be the, the new Isle of Denerim is already a bit questionable. So I can already tell where this is going. Okay, just get to the point of the story, please. They now know she is a threat to her father's power. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Owl Eamon. Oh, well, that's not good for us. Why would Loghain kill his own daughter just to frame Eamon? Actually, yeah, why? We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well-loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. Okay, I guess I will save the Queen. I, I'm not gonna lie, I actually didn't expect to save her. Though I didn't actually, I didn't think, I didn't know what would come because like we've not really actually spoken to her. We haven't even met her yet. Not really, I mean, we've seen her in good old cutscenes. 
but not in person. Okay, so what do you propose we do? I have some uniforms. I'll how I have so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. Okay. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. House Meet Estate. Me there as soon as you can. Okay. House Estate. I'm glad you decided to help. With Anora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Loghain. Hmm. I don't trust Alina. She knows too much. I don't know. I'm just a bit curious as to... Hmm. Do I trust her? Maybe not 100%. But we met... We met the new Earl of Denerim. And he... He seems not so great. But yeah, I'll say, um... What do you know about Queen She Aurora? and Kaelin were promised as children and practically raised together. She was oh. a smart child. Okay. Knew how to listen and how to blink those big blue eyes and get anything she wanted. Her mother's looks, her father's brains, and the best tutoring Merrick's money could buy. It's a potent combination. Okay, do you truly think Loghain's daughter would turn on him? From Alina's story, he turned against her first. True. If he truly intends to sacrifice her, I think it will be strong motivation to break the parental bonds. In any event, I would far rather have the opportunity to ask such things of her than simply hear about her murder. If Honora speaks out against Loghain, hers would indeed be one of the most powerful voices at the Landsmeet. Okay. Okay, that is... Hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, but if I break in, can't they frame me for her murder? No more easily than without you there. There will be none to see it, save those who are already loyal to Loghain. Okay. And given your reputation, Warden, I think Loghain knows it's safer to carry out his plots far from where you could disrupt them. Okay, that's fine. As you like. My palace is your palace. Oh, thank you. How generous. Have I spoken to Alistair? Where is Alistair? Have I? I can't even remember. Alistair, where are you? Liliana, Zev, Wynne, Ogren. Oh my god! <laughs> He's in his study! I just didn't even see him! Did not even notice his presence! That is actually quite funny. Where, is, where are you? Sorry, Alistair. You were stood there this entire time and I didn't even notice you were there. <laughs> I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Um, do you have anything to of say? Of course. So, no. Okay, that is chili beans, my peeps. Let us go. Oh, wait, look. A chest that I physically cannot open. How exciting. Why can't I use magic powers to open a chest? You know, that would that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of fun. I'm lost. <laughs> this way? Yes. I'm not lost anymore. So we need to go where again? Oh my god, I've got the memory. I'm Dory. I'm literally Dory. I have such a terrible memory. So obviously Indeed. Liliana, obviously yes. Alistair. Should I bring Win? I've not had Win for a while, but I've not had Morgan for a while. You know, I have Indeed. Morgan. Did I? Servants' quarters. Kitchen. Let's go yes. to the kitchen. Did we go in the kitchen? Here, Corella. Taste this. Tell me if it's in need of any more spice. Oh, this I cats. better not catch you trying to serve brown bread to the guests again, Alana, or I'll have your eyed. Oh, whoa, 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 brown bread. Whoa, that is too, that, that's treason right there. Treason. 
serving brown Dinner's bread. Dinner's not ready yet, and don't ask. It'll be served when it's done, and that's that. Now, show out of my kitchen. My apologies. What about you? Can't talk now, sir. Mistress Agatha would have my hide. Yeah, it seems she would. We had a whole wagon load of potatoes so rotten, they didn't even sour. They, they just even crawled sour. away. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm so sad. I can't... I can't take the cats. I want a cat. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love good old Bean. Oh, am I going to yes. have to do this every single time? Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Um, let's go into here, the servant quarters. Did I go in here before? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, it's still part of the... Oh. I didn't realise. Can I not talk? Oh, I can't even talk to you. Well, that was a waste of time. Goodbye. Let's choose my yes. people again. Indeed. Indeed. For the hundredth time. Sorry, I already can tell that this is going to be a chaotic episode. Okie dokes, peeps. Where are... Oh. Okay. Sure. Um, let's go. I imagine you have already composed a suitable ballad to commemorate the events at Redcliffe, Leliana. Why would I do such a thing? You have taken up your instruments once again, have you not? So to speak, a bard takes events of great import and puts them to tail. What happened at Redcliffe was horrible. So many people died, and they were violated by unimaginable evil forces. That was not so difficult, was it? You may wish to add music, however. You make it sound as if you enjoyed what happened there. She probably did. I can barely stomach to think of it. It was kind but of we bad. we were successful in the end. Mm. Victory without cost has little worth. I just think of what that poor little boy went through. No, I don't want to glorify what happened there. Then who will learn from these events? I would think on it some more, were I you. Mm, I see both points to that. I see both points. Okay. So where are oh what oh we're in the square we're in we're in the market. Here we are. We're in the market. Do you think good old uh what's his name? Brother Jenny TV. Brother Jenny TV will say hi. Um where would he be? That's still not open. Hmm. That is a problem. Oh, right. Does he have anything to say, do you think? My own expedition. My own team. I can't wait to get going. Oh. Um, do do do. Have you learned anything more about the urn? No, I <coughs> haven't been able to go back. I am rereading all the books and manuscripts, though. Having been there, some cryptic passages are finally making sense. Indeed. Um, so yeah, why haven't you left on? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Why haven't you left on the expedition? Oh, so much preparation! I have to gather the right team, the right equipment, and with this blight and the trouble in Denerim, the Chantry simply cannot spare any Templars. I was going to say, I'm you afraid better I'll have to policy. wait until all this is over. This is where you come in, yes? Hmm. I shouldn't disturb you further. Oh. Oh, come by any time you like. After all, I owe this all to you. I mean, I would rather you not go and find the urn because I feel like by doing so, you are going to lead many, um, well, evil people there. So what am I doing? What am I doing? Do do do. Prayer for Mousy. Denerim. Here we are. Rescue the Queen! I still don't know about these ones. Hmm. What, what's this one? Something um, is working behind the scenes in Feldrun. Oh, okay. But I don't still don't know about these two. But it's okay because I'm hoping. It will just fall, you know, it will just fall right in front of me and then I can do it. So, we need to go. 
Ah, it has been opened. What's this? Oh, okay. The state. That's fine. Let's go and find the queen. Hopefully it's straightforward. <laughs> oh, who do I think I am? Straightforward? Pff, never. It's never straightforward. Oh. Hello. Liliana. Um. I hope Liliana follows me um, when we do Awakening because I need her. I rely on her way too much. Like way too much. Trap right ahead. What? Trap oh, right ahead. Oh, I thought you meant him. I was like, yeah, he's literally stood right there with his arm crossed. Of course he's evil, but you actually meant real traps. Okay. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. Hey, bud. The crows send their greetings once again. Ah. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Who's Zevran? I don't know who Zevran is. Um, Zevran? Zevran who? <laughs> I don't know that person. Don't bother. I know very well he travels with you. Nope. Here I am, Talisan. So, I Tell I me, back were you, you sent or did you volunteer for the job? Oh, ho. And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return in with me, flesh. Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Hmm. I'm gonna say Zevran doesn't need the crows any longer. No, no, no. Oh, does Zevran need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talison. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. <coughs> I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. Oh. Oh dear. Uh, hmm. Well, obviously I need Alistair. Yes. But will Zev be able to unlock the things I need him? No, I'm gonna. I'm sorry, Indeed. Morrigan. I'm sorry, but it, it has to be. I just don't think he can unlock the things I need him to unlock. Time for okay. Do do do. Where are you? Hmm. <laughs> And then let me do. And then I can do. This. Cool. I need to stay away. Oh no! Don't follow me. <laughs> stay away from me. Ooh. I'm gonna die. Oh, Zev, you're also gonna die, hun. Um, do do do. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Such violence! No need for such violence! Good blood on me, I hate that! <laughs> I don't know if you just heard Zeb. It was like, you got blood on me, I just hate that! That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I did not even realize he was still there. Where's Zev? Oh! I was just. <laughs> I was just doing a mind blast and Zev literally just cut his head off as I did that. That is so funny. Oh my god. That is so messed up. That was like perfect timing, though, I must say. And there it is. Talison is dead. I'm sorry. And I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, 
they will not seek me out. Okay, so what does this mean? I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I suppose it would be possible for me to leave now if I wished. If you want to. I could to. go far away, somewhere where the crows would never find me. I think, however, that I could also stay here. I made an oath to help you, after all. And saving the world seems a worthy task to see through to the end, yes? Um, I would be glad to have you stay. Then stay I shall. We've come a long I way, you me, Zev. until the end. Provided you do not tire of me first. Or I die. Or you die. But there you go. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've come a long way, you and me. Good old bud. Buddy old pal. And I'm off. <coughs> <coughs> do do do. Let's just grab everything first. Huh. All right. Um, do do do. Grab that. Quick save. Oh my god, the lag! It's okay. I would rather have the lag than um, the crashes, if I'm being honest. I hate the crashes, but I've literally not had one since you guys told me to download the thing. Hun, I'm just gonna say, when you're trying to sneak some people in, don't scream over here whilst there's a mob of people right next to you. You know, just a quick thought. The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al how is inside. How is here? Yes, and wherever he goes, a great many guards go with him. Yeah, that's not good. Um, why can't we go in? I mean, I know why we can't go in the front because of the mob of people. So what's with the crowd gathered? Uh, what's the crowd gathered for? The estate is in poor repair. The new owl, he has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. Ah. This way. Oh, the carpenter's craft all has had enough of house conveniently busy schedule. We will not be put off again. Nor will the stonemasons. It's been a month since we've seen so much as a coin of house for our work. A month? The lordship is much engaged with the region. Oh the my god. complaints as soon as he has the time. You're wasting it. And when will that be? At the dawn of the next age? Our people have families to feed. They can't wait forever on the Terran's whim. The fact that they've waited a month is ridiculous. Oh, for the love of Lady Ogrusta. Just leave the lot of you. I would leave. I would be protesting as well. The fact that they've literally... That's awful. That is really awful. They've not been paid for a month. Jesus. Hmm. I might do... I might do that one, actually. Yes. Though, I will say we don't need this. Wow. A month with no pay. Ridiculous. I would be raging. Send him out to answer for himself. Keep yelling. I'm sure that will convince him. Who are you talking to? And I'm off. And I'm off. Do, do, do. Just gonna bring that up to 99. I don't know about you guys, but does it annoy you whenever they just do like X99? They never do, it can never go up to 100. It's always X99. Like, why? Why is that the case? Why can't it be a hundred? Like you're one off, you know? One hundred's a nice number. And it hurts my feel. Oh, there's a guard there. Can we, s I can't even sneak. Oh, he's gonna see, hi. Oh, he doesn't care, nice. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, they're there, oh. Uh, let's blow you up. Okay, I guess not. Ah, 
Well then, I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. I literally was like, "Oh wow, he won't see. He see. He sees us, but he's not going to do anything." No, 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 no. He was. Hmm. Someone is coming. Where? Where are you see? Okay, well they're probably just gonna appear out of nowhere. Oh right. Someone is coming. I wonder. Is that a person? No. I might as well take whilst I'm here. I mean you got a you got a nice little a nice little garden here. This is this is some good stuff. Some pumpkins. So where am I going? Is it this way? Oh, it is. I can distract the gods, but you must move quickly. Um, okay. Wait, we need to put our disguises on. Ollie! My lady does not have much time. You didn't give us a minute to get changed. You could have given them to us earlier. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the gods. Um, okay. Let's go. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. What, where are these bushes? Oh, there. You must come. <laughs> I saw something. A better fountain. I think it was a dark spawn. Dark okay. spawn. They will drag us all underground to be eaten. Should we call for help? <laughs> Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench. They will eat us all alive! Oh my Get God! Help. If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look awful. worse than scared. And dress these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard <laughs> if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. <laughs> He's but disrespectful. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly! We must go. We're in. Let's look at our beautiful uniform. Oh, whoa, guys. Don't we look cool? You know, matching outfits like we're in a boy band. Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? Okay. But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. Okay, where's Honora? She's in the guest room of the main hall. Andra, stay guide us. Okay, bud, that's chili beans. Let's find the queen. Whoa, we look super cool. I mean, the thing is, I'm the only one with the staff, so aren't aren't I gonna draw attention? No. This kitchen is a disgrace. How did the old old servants ever cook anything in here? No one ever said the Kendalls had any sense. For Andraste's sake, don't speak ill of the dead. Can the I speak to on you? Side. There's no help for it. We'll just trim it and feed the scraps to the dogs. Elena, where have you been? The housekeeper says you're wanted at the palace. I had errands to run for my lady. Her Majesty's been quiet as a mouse all day, and Tan Hao says she's to take dinner in her room. Is she well? She is um, indisposed. Not a worry. Okay, guess we're going to keep moving. What's through here? And I'm off. Anything of interest? Wait a second. Some money? Oh my god. Yes. yes. 
and a ring. Some money and a ring. The captain wants you. Ooh. You just got to keep moving. Some mushrooms. We just won't. Don't look at us. Don't look at us. We'll just keep moving. That's a dead end. Not mutton. How's too cheap to buy it? Cooks probably roasted yes. the elves that broke in here. Yes, this you wall. You realize that doesn't help, right? Oh. I mean, if I take from them, are they are they going to get mad? I mean, these are things I can sell. Whoa, 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 dude! We're right next to you. Don't shoot at us. What are this? Cool. I honestly, for a second, that I was lost. Actually, no. Am I lost? That's where I came from. Yes, this is where I'm you going. Get back from high ever. What's that? Not in the tongues of all the nations of the world may the Maker's mercy be expressed. Before the light, words become the clattering of pebbles on a mountain side. Before the light, all the mysteries of the ages become as leaves scattering in the wind. I may win great battles before men. I may do great works of charity and compassion. I may give myself over to the flames. But without the Maker, I have nothing. You got that big ass weapon. What do you mean you have nothing? Jesus. That could kill someone with one blow. Maker, dinner is late. Oh, look at them. But they're so cute. Bean, look, they're your friends. Hmm, they sound a bit aggressive, actually. Stepped in something. You need me? I just love how my girl's facing the wall. <laughs> like that's not gonna, like that's not gonna be suspicious. It's just face the wall, sure. Ooh, there is a lot of guards. God forbid us having to fight them all. They're gonna overwhelm us. Don't mind me. I'm just stealing from you. Okay, so that's the dungeon. What's this? Oh, that's the front door. <coughs> oh my god. So I'm guessing we're going down here? Yes. Oh. Um. Okay. We must be cautious here. My lady's life depends upon it. Well, well how- tell you. Mm, okay. Well, I don't know what to do. Where are the keys? We must be cautious here. My lady's life depends upon it. Okay. I've tell you. Well, where is... Oh, there's a door right here. I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I actually can't look myself. The Grey Warden is here, my lady. Thank the Maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. Hmm. Are we sure that's even the queen? What if it's just some fake voice? Yeah, how do I know you're really Queen Inora? How Prove am I supposed it. to answer that? Shall I try to shove my crown under the door? Do you think the royal family has a secret knock? My host wow. was not content with the leaving sarcasm. me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. The sarcasm is real. Um, okay, so how do we open it, Queen Inora? Find the maid who <laughs> cast the spell. He'll most likely be at house side. Okay. Um, sure. Fine, I'll be back soon. Thank you, Warden. My yeah, prayers okay. go with you. Yeah, I don't want your Tell prayers. Tell will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. Okay. Where? I've already forgotten. <laughs> Hey dude, yeah, I'm just patrolling, don't mind me. Oh, there's a book. Oh, we're gonna do some reading later. Um anything in here? 
You would have thought that, I don't know, these would be um, codexes, wouldn't you? Like, they, why is my girl facing the wall? Interesting. Or like a puzzle or something. But I guess not. Uh, which way did we come from? Okay, this is new. You could get so lost. Yes. The like housekeeper will hear us. Someone's here. Look, you didn't say nothing. Wait. Who are you? You're not on my watch. Whoa, whoa. Call the watch. We've got an intruder. I wasn't the one doing dodgy business, my guy. Why are you coming for me? I'm for some fun. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. Oh God. Thank you so much. Now we're gonna fight our way through. Oh, our uniforms off. God damn it. You couldn't keep it in your pants, could you? And now you're dead. Congratulations. Now we have to fight our way through this madness. Great. What's this way? Oh, that's locked. Going. Okay. There's a book. Antiva. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> hey. Can you open it? You can. Ooh. Maybe I didn't need both of you. And I'm off. What? Who goes there? Yeah, yeah, take it up. Okay. That's not creepy at all. I would take a few steps back too. I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Uh-huh. Who are you? Do you, you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden from Orlay. Oh! Jada, I think. Or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. Amri Orden, senior warden of Jada, but born and bred in Hyever. Oh. I'm glad to be home. Okay. Um, how did Arhal capture you? With an offer of hospitality and a poison chalice. I was fool enough to think Logain didn't yet know who I was. Rookie mistake. Um, where's Hal now? I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. Okay. Uh, what are you doing here? For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue. I was sent when we received no word from King Kaelin as to the outcome at Ostagar. The king had invited all the wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. Okay. How large a force did you bring with you? We had 200 wardens and two dozen divisions of cavalry. The first we heard of Logain's edict was when everyone was turned back at the border. That was when the rumor reached us that wardens were being blamed for the massacre. We finally decided it was safest to send someone alone to learn how best to fight the Blight and this regime simultaneously. As a native Ferelden, I volunteered to make the crossing. Oh, wow. How generous of you. Um, but the archdemon, but the archdemon's nearly here. Um, will we have no help? That is a very important question. The other wardens won't risk their strength fighting Ferelden's civil war. If they spend themselves against Loghain, there is truly no hope. They recall accounts of the first blight, how many cities fell. If Ferelden is too foolish to save itself, at least, We'll be ready when the Archdemon leads its forces further. Besides, I hear you haven't been doing badly at raising an army yourself. Yeah, but, but... perhaps if the edict can be lifted, I will send a message as soon as we are gone from this place. But what if we sort out the stuff with Loghain first? Then could you help us and bring the other wardens? Hmm... I'm gonna say, is there more you can tell me about the wardens? 
This is hardly the best place to talk. Okay. You've been staying with our Lehman at his estate. If you need a place to stay, I'm sure he'd make you welcome. At Al Eman's, then. And good luck, sister. Don't, no, no, I have questions. Okay, great. I had questions. Thanks, Alistair. Ooh. Yeah, that's awkward. Where did we... What's through here? Ooh, is this like a... Oh! Oh, no. Is this like a torture dungeon? What... Wait, is this that thing where you basically have your arms and your legs strapped and then they start to pull you? Or is that is that something else? Because if that is the case, this is some dodgy business right here. And we need to get out of here ASAP. Maybe with the queen, maybe without the queen. Preferably with the queen. Otherwise, it'll be a bit of a problem later on. <coughs> oh, into the depths we go. Watch out, trap there. Oh! I've triggered it! No! Haha. <laughs> 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 a bit more dying, please. <laughs> Um. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Sev, you're there. I guess I can't use that. And Alistair was in my way. Hmm. <laughs> oh the creepy music's back i really hate this music it makes me feel really uncomfortable oh i don't like it enemies look over there <laughs> You would think that, but instead they they have they have guts. Imagine that one person coming to run running running towards four. That's guts right there. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe some more willpower. Ooh, what's this? Revival. Ooh, I'll do that one. That one seems quite good cheeky quick save because I don't always have win with me oh <laughs> I didn't need to quick save it saved it for me uh oh oh I can literally see the enemies waiting behind these doors maybe I'll do this one first this yeah! oh my god so intense oh it need to get rid of him first where is it um is it this one? <laughs> oh, Zev, you are about to go. I am ready. Everyone okay? Ooh, 
I'm glowing. I am glowing. Chest. Let's see if you can As open you like. this. You can! Zev, you little angel. What about this one? <laughs> that is a laugh of confidence right there. Lovely! Nice, nice. Oh, I didn't see you there. Nice. Let's just do another save. Oh my, oh my god. What's that? Ooh. There is a lot of people to fight. Yeah. Ah! No, not the dogs! God damn it! I don't like this. Oh, let's see. We oh this is so sad. Which one first? Sometimes. I can't see what. Okay. I literally couldn't see what I was doing just then. Oh god, oh god! I'm gonna die! This dog really has it out for me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm officially dead. Oh! That is not so good for me. Yes. <laughs> right away. Oh, another battle it is. As you like. <laughs> oh, there's still a guy here. Hey there, bud. Killing yourself would have more dignity. Oof. My throat got literally torn apart. Bean, hun, are you okay there? Didn't you want to fight your your brothers? That's fine. I get it. You know, you roll around. You roll around, cute little bean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? I feel terrible about killing those dogs. But, I mean, to be fair, I didn't kill all of them. One ripped my throat out and murdered me. So, you know. Um, I've gone in here, yes. Oh, am I injured? Oh, oh, a crushed arm. Ooh. Uh, okay, before I do that, let me just... Cool, and then have an injured here. And then... <laughs> Hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> Every single time I hear that, it just sounds like a like an old man crying. Oh my god! Sorry, what the hell? Those are heads on spikes! That is so disturbing! Oh whoa, these people need to go. <laughs> Um, Zev, have a potion. I can, he or maybe I'll just do a group heal, actually. No, we don't really need a group heal. We are ridiculously awesome, Zev. If that's what you said. There was a lot of screaming over the top of that. 
This is not okay, guys. What the hell? Oh, we just need to get out of here. We need to get the queen, show the queen this awful mess. Oh, look at the trail Don't of blood. Leave me here. Get me out of here. That's an order. Well, oh. Oh. Don't leave me here. Get me out of here. That's an order. Yeah, but I got you. It's okay. Was this supposed to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? Um, yeah, unless your father's our Eamon, he didn't send me. You move in August company, stranger. I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigurd, of the Dragon's Peak Banon. If Banon. you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? I am Alara of the Grey Wardens. Then I have no question about why you would come, Warden. For it is your men who have suffered the most here. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And I assume the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Banon. If my father sent no one after me, I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. Ooh. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. Okay. All I want is information. I can tell you little, only how I came to be here. Go on. One soldier returning from Ostagar was my wet nurse's son. We have been friends since birth. Okay. He told me his unit was ordered to turn their backs on Kaelin at Ostagar, before oh. the Darkspawn overwhelmed him. The next day he disappeared. When I went to search for him, I accepted a drink from a stranger and ended up here. Never do that! Come on, man! Never accept a drink from a stranger. Unless it is a milkshake, then that's okay. But apart from that, never. Never accept drinks from strangers, people. Or food. You never know what people are up to. Anyway. Um, I... Blah, blah, blah. Will your father side against Loghain? At the Landsmeet. Ooh. Then there is a Landsmeet after all. Yes. How said the Isle of Rickliffe was dead and the nope. Landsmeet called off? Nope. I swear, if there be any forum to speak out against Loghain, my father will be there. Cool. Now, please. I must try to get to him. Poor guy. I cannot see the last of this place too soon. Be free! Run away, my guy. Try not to make eye contact with uh, the dead. I mean, yeah. What's glowing? Huh. This is so messed up. Like, what? This is so ma I don't like this place. I really don't. Where do we come from? I've already forgotten. This way? And the music just makes it so eerie. Time for hmm. For more practice. <gasps> oh, I was too close. I was too close. <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of in the doorway, which isn't helpful. Make a preserve. Cool, 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 cool. Go on, um, Leliana, you attack that guy then, I guess. Oh, who's that? Zev. Oh, Zev's got my back. Thank you. Yes. Oh no, I need to heal. Going. Just do a... Nope, this one. <laughs> cool. Oh, we got a key for the lower prison. And I'm off. And I'm off. Into huh. the dip the depths the deeps <laughs> the depths of the dungeon. Was it something I actually lost? What's down here then? Okay. Then what's here? <gasps> Rexo! Oh my god! I've been freaking searching for you like my life's depended on it, my guy. Priorities. They said to retreat. The horn sounded and we turned, and then the screams. 
We rode and they screamed and screamed and... Oh, mm. Okay, uh... Shh, it's... It's all right. You're fine. Mother, can you smell the blood? I'm younger than you, dude. <laughs> they said it was only Darkspawn. But we hate them, too. They died. And we left them. In the swamp. The witch. The witch! He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. No, I don't think e I will either. But I don't want to kill him because I don't feel like that's very nice. He doesn't seem like a bad person, just a little bit crazy. Um, you're free to go. Go somewhere safe. Safe? Is there a safe? Perhaps next door. Bye, dude. Poor guy. He's lost the plot. Who are you? Oh, right. What month is it? Are you some enemy of Arl Urians? Please, I feel like I've spent half my life down here. Oh, poor guy. He. Oh my god, the. He, the R died months ago and he's been down here all this time. Why were you imprisoned here? The Arl's son. He abducted my bride on our wedding day. When I tried to rescue her, I don't remember. She was screaming and he was laughing and I charged at him and woke up here. I don't know if she's even still alive. Oh my god, that's so sad. Go. Go. Be free. Oh, was this during the Elven Rebellion? Ooh, shut up. Rebellion? I know my kinsmen were unhappy with the Jarl, but I can't imagine a rebellion. There have been many changes since they caught me. I feel so sorry for him. I need to find out what happened. Okay. I need to get home or flee the city. Find your I, wife first. I thank you for your aid, stranger. I wish I had more than gratitude to offer. It's plenty. Go. Go, run away. Find your bride. Quest updated. Okay. Um, now then. What's through here? Huh. Ooh, a chest. Ooh. Go on, sir. As you like. Damn. How thrilling. Oh. Well, well, the Grey Warden. I must say I'm surprised Eamon would condone you invading my castle and murdering my men. Is he losing faith in the persuasive powers of his land's meat? I'm not even here. Okay, you're speaking to no one. I am... Invisible. <laughs> um, I'm here for Honora. Give her to me. <laughs> the traitorous bitch has you under her thumb. Honora does love games. Damn. I'm surprised she Speaking played the queen with the like likes that. of you. You should have left when you had the chance, Warden. Slunk off to the Anderfels to hide with the rest of your kind. This landsmeet is a farce. Loghain will triumph and you will die. Sure, 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 sure. Yee. Okay. What's this? Should I do... Time for more practice. Ah. Ooh! That was good! I like it. Alright, I'm uh. 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 Next time. I'll try to be uh. left. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, that's the one I used. Um. I hope I don't get blood all over me again. Uh, 
Oh, who died? Oh, Zev. Oof, that's awkward. Don't come for me, man. I, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm just a little me. Okay, he's coming for me. <laughs> right. Defend yourself. Oh. Oh. Make a spit on you. That, that's oh, that's a lot of blood. I deserved. No. Awkward. Awkward times. Well, I mean, he, he, you're, you're no more now, unfortunately. Money. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we got the key. The key is what we needed. Golden ring. Okay, who's? high prison so what was was there something over here oh wonderful i'm lost is this where we originally came from i'm so confused Kind of like always, really. Okay, well, what's... Quick save. What's through here? Make it have mercy on your faithful servant. Who are you? Hmm, who's there? Stay away. <laughs> you can't do this to me. I'll have you all flayed. I'm the Arl of Denerim. Hmm, <laughs> who's there? Stay away. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. <laughs> Oh, um, the Arl Urin died at Ostagar. Who are you? I'm Vaughn Kendalls, heir to the Arling of Denerim, it's true. Too many of our troops were lost at Ostagar. When the riots started, Howe came with men to reinforce the garrison here. Or that's what he claimed. As soon as I let him into the palace, he threw me in here. One more victim of the Elven uprising, he said. Let me out of here. I'll do anything. Anything? Nobody missed you. You can stay here. <laughs> um. Okay. The landsman has been called. I need your voice. Of course. Anything. Just let me out. Okay. Uh. Yes. Very well. You can go. I swear you won't regret this. You uh, better not. Run away. <laughs> Oh, uh oh, sorry, Zev. I didn't know that would, that would affect you so much. Andraste, bride of the Maker, have mercy on me. Alstana, is that you, little sister? No, I, I don't know you. Do I? Are you real? Are you Are you okay? Who are you? I, I I'm Erminric, Knight Lieutenant of the Denerim Chantry. You. Aren't one of the Tern's men? He sounds like he's in Lyrium withdrawal. He's got all the signs, confusion, weepiness. He probably doesn't even know what he's saying. Oh, bless if the him. Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. I... I failed in my duties, Maker. Forgive me. I failed, and there's no telling what he's done. Who are you talking about? The Malefica. He had turned blood magic upon Templars and Circle Mages to escape from his tower. Near Redcliffe, I cornered him. But the Ten's men took him from me. And brought me here. Oh! He's talking about Joan. Hmm. 
That is so sad. Don't yes. worry. He's got him. He the tower has his him. Phylactery. We were spread out, trying to find him. I was alone. I... You are real, aren't you? Mm -hmm. My dreams are so strange now. Please, if you're not a dream, help me. What do you want me to do? Give this ring to my sister, Alstana. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please, ask her to pray for me. Okay. Sure. I will do that for you, bud. I mean, you can literally run away, but I guess not. You're just gonna, you're just gonna stay in there? Okay. This way. This way. I'm so lost. Main floor. Where did I come from? That's a dead end. Okay, what about what's through here? I'm I can't with myself. Is this where I actually came from? This seems about right. No, it doesn't actually. No, it does. It does seem right. This way. Maybe. God, I'm so awful with directions. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, it's here. Okay. <laughs> I literally can't. Oh, God. Imagine if I was in there in real life. I would just, I would just live in the dungeons forever because I just would not know my way out. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Really? <sighs> well. Huh. Just, just a quick sec. Hey, you don't belong here. This is uh, this is just a bloodbath. <laughs> to be fair, uh, I could just do. Oh my god! I'm literally gonna die. I can't even take a potion without getting eaten. Oh my god. Can you guys literally back off? Like, you guys literally just won't stop attacking me. I can't even take a potion without getting attacked. My goodness. I'm literally gonna die. This is ridiculous. I'm I'm literally dead. Oh, they're annoying me. Hmm. I might just have to do it because they're actually getting on my nerves. I still Oh my god, Alistair, have you literally been out here this entire time? 
Damn! What a beast of a man! Damn. Oh my god. That was a little bit intense for me. They were just, everyone was surrounding me. I couldn't even do one thing without literally oh, being right. close to death. Uh, not too close before we start getting attacked again. Uh, grab that. And that. Okay. Cool. Save. I'm not gonna lie, I literally can't remember where the queen was. Oh! There. I mean, I guess I don't really need to fight these people then, do I? I can just go over here. My thanks. Sure. <laughs> okay, aren't you a little short for a guard? Says the elf. I'm smaller than her. Okay, I'll just say let's go. Thank you. I'll trust you to lead us safely out. Sure. If house people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Healthy. Okay. Well, actually, is there anything in it? Hello? Is there anything in here? No. Okay. I, uh, I mean. Yeah, um, Anora, you should just stay over there. Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe mm. and his men at arms. You think I'm scared? Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Uh, no. I'm just gonna say death first. Bring them down. Logan wants the warden, dead or alive. Oh, his eyes are a bit creepy because they're non-existent. What? Oh, look at that! Anora's vanished. What a surprise! What a surprise! Um. Oh. Have a greater one. I hope I don't have blood all over me again. Go. I'm gonna have one of these. And then group heal, because we're going to need it. And... Oh, Alistair. Oh, I don't need that, I need this. I'm not surprised Alistair died. He lasted a while. Watch out for the cat. Okay. Oh, Zev's down. Oh, that's my bad. Let's end this. Hmm. Ooh, 
Oh dear, she's coming for me. Oh wow, she's hardcore. Oh my god. Oh my I'm dead. I don't think we're gonna get her. She's kinda hardcore. Oh whoa, whoa, she literally killed Liliana in one swig. Oh, that's awkward. She's hardcore. We need to kill her first. She needs to be the first to go. Do, 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 do. Hello? Eamon, we have a problem. Andraste, watch over our friends in danger. Calm down. What has happened? The wardens have been captured. Oh! What? How could this happen? Never mind that. The question is how to free her. Surely you mean them. I've been captured? You need Alistair too. <gasps> oh yes, god! Of course, I meant Alistair too. Calthrian will take her to Fort Draken. Getting in will be no small feat. This is hilarious. Oh my god, I've been captured. Oops. Oh no. Oh god. Have I been tortured? Me and Alistair have literally been- Wait, does that mean- Oh god, no. What is happening? I'm scared. How are we gonna escape? Oh! Damn, they literally stripped me of everything. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. Why are you in the corner then? Just left me, just, just left me lying there. Where are we? Or are you all right? No, I was gonna say, where I'm are not we? entirely sure. It's not the Royal Palace dungeon, I think. Too orderly. Fort Draken, perhaps. <laughs> that doesn't really bode well for us. Really? Should we try and escape? We have nothing though. We'll get killed in like two seconds. Uh, or should I say the others are coming? Don't worry. Who do you think will come? Oh, I get to choose. <laughs> should I bring Morrigan? Should I make Morrigan come? Oh, I wish I could see that <laughs> one person assaulting Fort Draken all alone. Uh. Oh, who else would come with her? Maybe Sten, you know. Sten seems like... I think Sten loves me. I hope you're right. That's so funny. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, no. This is so funny. I've been captured. State your business. Shall I let Morgan bluff? We have a delivery for your fort from the Weaver Craft Hall. I wasn't told about anything being shipped in today. Should I carry her in her talk? That is hardly my concern, is it? Now go get whoever is in charge, like a good little boy. Crap. Ah, <sighs> fine. Wait oh. over there. She I'll has the, the she has the sarcasm to be to do good stuff. Come on, come on, come Fate on, Morgan. He has a sense of humor. That tale should have fooled no one. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh. Hello. Feel free to do all the talking when the captain arrives. All right. <laughs> What's this about? We have a delivery for the fort. I haven't been notified about any delivery. You wish to refuse it? Uh, fine. But you must speak with the Weaver Craft Hall. I will not take it back to them for you. Fine, fine. Take it to the main hall. Did did I get in? Did I get in? Waiting room. Oh God. <laughs> oh 
my god, this is actually so nerve wracking. I don't know where I'm going. Chat captain's office. I feel like I should just try and find. Oh god. This is the main hall. Please don't attack me. How many went to Lothering? I don't know. I heard they all but emptied the palace though. Think it'll be enough? I uh, don't know. Pray that it is. I'm just a humble... Oh no. Oh no. We need a plan here. Who are you talking to? Oh, okay. I see your mind. That one, okay. Is it just that one? Ooh. As you wish. Oh! Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I thought I was going to be doing when I did that. Hello. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Um. What does this one do? Oh, okay. Yes. You've got this, Morgan. We can do this. We've got this. First, let's heal you. Uh, oh dear. Okay, we don't have this. Um. Oh wait, no. We've also got the sleep. We need to sleep. Make them sleep. Where is it? Sleep. Okay, let's do those. Oh. Did it not work? Okay, well that's a problem. Uh... Very well. Oh, stop attacking me! <laughs> that's what you get, Mister. I see. I died. I literally died. No! Get me out of this. Okay, I can do this. Oh wait, ooh, last save. When did I save? Oh no, when did I save? Guys, this is absolutely a chaotic episode and I'm actually kind of here for a, when, when did I save? Oh, here. Oh, what, when you were literally talking baloney to these State guards? Your business. Okay, well, let's do some more we Morgan have a Bluff. For your fort from the Weaver Craft Hall. We, we've already I experienced this. I wasn't told about this. anything being shipped in today. Carry uh, on. Fine. Wait over there. I'll get a captain. Okay. We've already bl we've already done all of this. I'm just going to I'm just going to skip. All right. What's this? Yep, 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 yep. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm saving from here because I didn't save. Silly me. We can do this. We can do this. I think also the problem might be that I don't have any Oh, okay. I'm going to do this. Because I don't have any lyrium, like just normal lyrium, and it's a problem. So let's do this quickly. Just gonna use all of it. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. We still need some injury kits as well. Um, some health potions. What's that? That's greater health. I need... I didn't think this through, but I'm doing this now. It's a little bit delayed, but here we are. I thought... Uh, how about that? Cool. That's lesser. I don't need lesser. Nice. Okay, that will do. Quick save. Let's go through. We can do this. I've got a plan. I know what I'm doing now. Do 
Do I have to go past them Did again? Did you hear that Tan Hao was murdered? I think that's a new record. Even for an Isle of Death. Yes, and then let's do this. I can do this. I've got this, guys. I see. Be wary. Okay, and then... Um, where are you? I keep losing it. Sleep. So be it. Okay, I've done that one. Who's next? Okay, I've done that one as well. This one. Cool. Okay, and then... Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. This one. Nice. Nice! Okay, and then I need another one of these lyriums. Ooh, quick save. Okay, I mentally prepared myself hmm. for that one. The fact that Morgan's come to save me is actually quite Very funny. Well. Yes. So is it this way that I need to go? Wait. What is... That's where I am. Oh, I, ha I do have to go around. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is so funny. I'm nervous. As you wish. I ah! see. Oh my god, they actually scared the life out of me. Uh, okay. Go here. <gasps> oh my god. Take a potion. And then... Oh no, they've stunned me! Let's do sleep. And then... I shall do it. So then now this one. Um. Die, mongrel! No mercy! Cross me and you shall pay! Uh, do do do. Oh, this should be good. So be it. <laughs> Okay, they're fighting each other, that's fine. Uh... I should uh... that one really oh crap I'm gonna die this is stressful so be it okay cool 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 save <laughs> oh god 
Oh no, who's gonna be behind this door? No one. Oh, that's nice. So where, where am I? Okay, so that's where Alara is. So I have to go this way. Very well. <laughs> Hello. Hello, bud. As you wish. Um. Cool, I get a minute then to do this one. Oh no, I don't. Uh, D D D. Very well. Okay, um... Hmm... Have a battle, I see! I shall do it. Tear them apart! As you wish. Nice! There we go! So where am I? Goodness, what a journey. Who's gonna be there? <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> I've come to save you! <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, where is my sleep? I see. Do this one. So be it. As you wish. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lovely. Hey guys, how's it going? Very well. Come quickly, Warden, though I doubt you are inclined to linger. <laughs> oh, I have clothes again, thank God. Why am I kneeling? I'm like, let us, let us remember this place. Let us remember when we got defeated. Now let's go. Can I not save? Oh, there's no one in there. I just, I don't like the sounds. Um, Is there? Can I not save this person? Oh, I'm guessing he's dead. Okay. Oh, that was quite funny, actually. I enjoyed that. That was an experience. Who's in here? No one? Then who's making all these sounds? All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's keep going going I don't think we need to explore this entire place there's only three of us oh wait can I get another one? Oh nice no I can't okay oh I can I can level up Morrigan might as well whilst I'm here hmm I think, what was I doing? Weakness, maybe? Alistair? Strength? And let's do one cunning. Motivation. Mm hmm. Ooh, 
let's... Oh, I can't. This is actually my party. Okay, cool. Let's do this, guys. What's in here? Where actually are we? Hmm. I don't feel like there's a reason to explore. I feel like we should just get out of here. I feel like that's basically what we should do. Just leave. Yes. We don't need to explore. This is when all of you are like, well, if you explored, you would have found this. And my answer to that is, nope. We're getting out of here ASAP. What the? Why are you guys so far behind? <laughs> oh my God. The no, don't let everyone know. God damn it. <laughs> oh, oh God. Okay, well, here we are. That's right, heal me! <laughs> Where's Morrigan? Morrigan, I want you to make them sleep, please. Okay, grab that, grab that, and grab that. Quick save. And let's go! Is there anything in here? Actually, before we go. Oh, look, a chest I can't open. What a shame. Actually, can I? Oh no, insufficient skills. What a surprise! Let's go! Going. Oh, we need to go here. <laughs> That's so funny. I literally can't believe we got kidnapped. <laughs> actually, you know what? I can believe it. I actually can believe it. That's funny though. I thought it was just going to be, oh, we just redo the battle. But no, they they actually kidnapped us. Hilarious, really. Okay. Well, thank you, Morrigan, for saving me. You little angel. Where is Morrigan, actually? Okay, that's Alistair. Morgan's up here. Let me say hi to Morrigan. My my knight in shining armor. Does she have anything to say? If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? Okay, no, so she's just back to her usual self. That's fine. Bye. Let me speak to them. Maker's breath. It's Hi, good bud. to see you in one piece, my friend. <laughs> Indeed. Blue. We have been praying for your safe return. Oh, journey. shut up. You abandoned me. I literally can't even look at you, Anora. You literally ran away. Hmm. Um, what do I want? The fact that I can't even, like, confront her about the fact that she just ran away and left me. Hilarious. Love that for me. Okay, so what happens now? We will need to work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. Mm. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind controlled me. He may even believe it. I mean, technically he kidnapped me first, you know? We didn't kidnap you, we tried to save you, then I got kidnapped, so, and then I escaped. With Morgan's help. So, um, can he still take the throne without you? Perhaps. Ooh, that's a good question. It will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. Ah. He is a legend. It's true. Our position it's in the true. landscape <laughs> is not strong. <laughs> how? this does little to help us. How is At it not strong? At least that how is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the landsmeet, and there I can help. You okay. have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. 
few elves accompanied the army. Really they should nice. have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful Ooh. lead, Nora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. Mm. That is true. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. There you go. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. Mm, I was waiting for her to say that. Okay, let's just have a hot pause right now because if we're being real, we know full well that Alistair does not want the throne, okay? And things that I've been thinking about as well, like the closer we get to, you know, the main quest and all of that, and the fact that Al Eamon wants Alistair to be king because, you know, he is the bastard son of... Oh my god, I can't remember what the old king was called. It doesn't matter, but... I understand why Al Eamon is wanting to do that, but Alistair has given me no indications of him wanting to be king. Plus, he's outright said he doesn't want to be king. So that lingers in my mind. But what for me, without anyone saying anything, in my opinion, I don't think Al Alistair would be a good king. Not because he's not a good person, but because he is a follower, not a leader. He literally stated it himself when we first started. Like when Morrigan questioned him saying, well, why are you following Alara when you've been a Grey Warden longer than she has? And he literally basically said there and then that he doesn't like giving orders, he likes taking them. So that indicates to me that he would not be a good king because to be a king, you have to rule, you have to lead, you have to... You know, those are, it's common sense right there and there. But he isn't a leader. He is a follower through and through. He always has been. That's just his character. So, do you know what I mean? So I don't think he would be a good king in that sense. Honora, on the other hand, has... She... They said it, didn't she? That she was the brains behind the operation when she was married to the king. She was the one, like... You know, I'm guessing. Because, like, if she takes anything after her father, she's going to be... She's all brains. Um, Our Eamon said it himself. So I'm, like, my, I'm presuming that she was the brains behind the operation. Like, Our Eamon said that she's the smart one. Like, she's Loghain's daughter and he is very smart. So... I personally, if we're being logical right now, she would be the best candidate to rule for Elden and not Alistair because he's given me no indications of why he would be a good ruler other than being a good person. But can he make the hard calls that the kingdom needs? Do you know what I mean? Like, because being a king, it's not going to be an easy job. Like, you have to make tough calls. And Alistair, in my opinion, he's too much of a little innocent guy to do that. So I personally feel like Honora should be queen and should remain queen for those logical reasons. Like if Alistair, for example, was a leader and like, I know he didn't want to be king, but he was a leader through and through, then I would be a little bit more persuaded and a little bit more swayed to make him king. Even if he doesn't want to be king, like... That's kind of how I know he would be a good king. But the fact that he doesn't have that leader mentality kind of makes me... He wouldn't be a good king for that reason. And he doesn't want to be a king. So I feel like Honora has all the traits of a good leader. So I think we should just leave it with her. But I'm going to say... Oh, sorry, rant over. But I'm just going to say to her... And we should trust you. Why? You don't need to trust me. I like that we answer. We have the same goal. I like that, that answer too. That is far better than trust. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. 
I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but Caelan, that's I it. am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who betrayed everyone? Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? I thought that would be. The yeah. I am what this country needs, not I didn't an untrained think he would king be. who does not even want the throne. Hmm. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Okay. See, at the end of the day, she is spitting facts. Like, look at look at that walk. That is a walk of a queen. Look at look at that strolling. Well, like she's that. quite spirited. <laughs> I remember when Logan first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Yeah. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I'm not surprised. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Yes. I don't 100% trust her because her saying, oh, you know, about Loghain, like, he is a traitor. Simple as that. He got her husband killed. And the fact that that doesn't seem to bother her as much as it should in my opinion is a bit like mm. but i don't know i don't feel like she's a bad person i feel like she does what she does to win the game kind of like her father but she didn't get her husband killed her father did so i'm gonna say why do you think she's trouble this is an alliance of convenience. It is, yeah. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. I agree. Be careful how much trust you place in her. Mm -hmm. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. No. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Yes, no, I agree with everything you're saying. I'm going to say it, to be fair. I'm going to say I think she would make a better ruler than Alistair because... I just know, I know him, he's not, he doesn't want to be a king. It's as simple as that. Anora was a capable administrator for Caelan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Yeah, but... Hmm... See, I don't want to sound like an ass, but I feel like the first one, but Alice's mother was a scullery maid. How is he better? Because she was. Yeah, his father may, be the, may have been the king, but he was born out of wedlock, which therefore makes him a bastard son. And is Ferelden really going to want their king to be a bastard? Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like... These, these are important questions. I'm not trying to be an ass. I'm just trying to m get the facts straight. Um, thanks. I'm I right love, here, you know. I love his you, but, you know. His mother was maid, but his <laughs> father was Merrick Theron, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. Mm. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Caelan and Anora would secure the succession. Yeah. Why is it so important um, to put Marek's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That oh, was the heritage we okay. preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, mm. we could scatter back to warring Turniers. So you're thinking about the, the bloodline of this. Okay, all right. Well, I want to speak to... We certainly have a great deal to plan. Mm. Oh, what do you think he's doing in Alienage? Yeah, because he's been locked this entire time. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Okay, I've got work to do. Of course, if I might make a suggestion... I will. Go speak with I'm going to speak with her. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. Okay. I'm sorry for talking about you whilst you were stood right there. I haven't been here in a while. 
They've changed the dining room. Oh, it Ask seems like away. you don't really care, but okay. I have questions. Of course. Uh, okay, well, nothing, apparently. I, you know, you make a comment, but then you have nothing to say afterwards. Interesting. So where is... Nora? No, I'm, I'm so lost. God damn it. Okay. Oh, what, what so she's in here? I'm lost. Guys, how am I this lost? I don't understand. I don't, oh, okay. Oh, she's over there. <laughs> okay. I'm so, I'm honestly, I literally can't with myself. I actually can't. I was so lost just then. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Nora. It only took me like a hundred years to find you. Hello again, Warden. Hi. It is good that you came to speak with me. Mm -hmm. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It mm. is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. And wonderful. My father must be stopped. But once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Are you opposing the life? <laughs> um, I don't think she means it in that way, hon. Um, okay. Hmm. Why should I support you? For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Kaelin's queen. Yes. As much as they loved Kaelin, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Kaelin was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. Um, are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. Mm. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Okay, I understand. Hmm... Yeah, what happens to Legain if you are queen? Because I don't see her killing her father for all the awful stuff he's done. He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. Mm -hmm. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. Hmm... I'm gonna say justice must be done, don't you think? Because come on, he killed her husband. And it, this is my point about Honor. I don't feel like she really seems to care that he killed her husband. Like with her, like feelings wise, it doesn't seem that she cares. I feel like it's an inconvenience for her that he did it because of all the chaos that's happening now in Denner and Ferelden and all that. But to her herself, I don't feel like she she doesn't show any emotions regarding the loss of her husband maybe she didn't love him okay cool but still it was her husband and her king do you know what i mean it she doesn't really seem to care it's just weirding me out a little bit i will always be my father's daughter but even i know he must pay for his crimes it will not make me glad even so does that affect your decision can we yet come to an arrangement You think you're a better candidate than Alistair? I mean, I do, personally. She seems like she's got her head screwed on. Do you know what I mean? It seems like she knows what she's doing. She was queen before. She basically ruled behind closed doors, like, behind the scenes. So, it's not like she doesn't know what she's doing. But I just want to... I, I want to know her opinion about Alistair. Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. What do you think of Alistair's potential to rule? Never mind his willingness. Hmm. Uh, what do I say? I'm gonna say being a good ruler requires more than ambition. Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are admirable qualities. 
if not kingly ones. Okay. He also seems to be a fine Grey Warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Hmm. And you would serve better as queen. I have ruled this nation on Kaelin's behalf for many years. I am a great queen and as beloved by my people as I love them. Ferelden needs an effective ruler with experience to see it through the blight and after. That is not Alistair. What say you then? Your support for mine in the lands meet? Oh, the fact that I have to do this right here and now. Um... Should I say I think I will need more than just your support? What does that mean? Once I am queen, I will be in a position to grant you whatever you wish. And I shall. Alistair might promise you the same, I suppose. But I would ask which is better. The gratitude of a weak king or of a strong queen. Oh. And even if it is not for you, think of what I could do for the Grey Wardens. Think of what I could do for your people. I trust I have made my point. She just seems like a planner, and I'm not going to lie, it's kind of doing it for me. Like, it's ki I kind of already was swayed towards her anyway. I just... I just... The one thing that I just doesn't really sit well with me is how... In a way, she tries to... It, I feel like she's not... I don't know. I'm trying to find my words, guys, but it's just not coming. It's like the way she is with her father. That is my biggest issue with her. Like, do I think she will be a great queen? Yes. Do I think that she's logical and like strategical and she has a plan for everything? Yes. Do I think her father is her weakness? Yes. Do I think that she will try and do anything to let her father live after him basically killing all the Grey Wardens and her husband? Yes. Do I think that like that could be a problem? Yes. Do I think that that will cause a shift in my group? Mainly with Alistair? Yes. Like, these are all things that I know will happen. Like, if for any, like, reason that she basically, like, lets her father live, I full, I know full well that Alistair is going to lose his mind and absolutely go psycho. And to be fair, I don't blame him because, like, the Grey Wardens were Alistair's family. Duncan was his family. And Loghain got them all killed because he didn't agree with the king's decision and by do you know what i mean so i feel like she is she has all these great qualities of being a queen but she is the daughter of a traitor and which isn't her fault but the fact that she, her father is her weakness and i know she will try and do anything to let him live is bad especially if she's going to be queen so I'm hoping that I'm wrong. I'm hoping that she will put her foot down and make sure that justice is served for the Grey Wardens that died because of Loghain. But I feel like it's not going to be that simple. I feel like it's going to... They might cause drama. Hmm. I'm going to support her because I don't want... Al Alistair doesn't want to be king. Simple as. So that's out of the that's out of the question like the, that is that was not even really an option i just don't like how okay she is with how Loghain basically killed her husband it just it's weird to me like she just it just doesn't seem to care like i feel like i know that she will fight more for her father than for her husband and i understand that they were basically betrothed by like when they were children but she grew up with him like they may like he she said it herself like he was a kind king he was a good man which means that they they may have been friends and i just feel like she doesn't seem to care that much that he is dead because of her father like do you know what i mean it just seems it just seems a bit bizarre to me so I just know that her father is her weakness and she'll do anything to let him live, which therefore will cause issues with Alistair. So I'm hoping I'm wrong, but I doubt it. So I'm going to say, I agree, you have my support in the lands meet. That is good to hear. Sorry, that was so a we have a deal, Warden. Ooh. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Yes, I will. 
Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. Mm -hmm. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. Yeah. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Hmm. I mean, I could ask, what do you think about marrying Alistair? You know, what do you think about marrying the love of my life? I try not to. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, <laughs> I try not to. My recently dead husband, if you'll recall. Oh, well, I'm the one who mentioned more. My main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. And are you so truly eager to pawn the lad off on me anyway? I rather got the sense that you two might be. No, we are! We are! No, I love him! I think he's great! <laughs> I just, you know... I just... I, I just thought it was a good idea. I would just say, okay, true, forget that I, I said anything. Consider it forgotten. <laughs> now, if there's nothing else... Uh, okay, yeah, no, I... Sh I... Oh, actually, no, I might have questions. Ask, Ask questions. me whatever you like. Hmm, does it make you uncomfortable siding against your father? Let, let, now I'm hoping that I can see something from her. Of course it does. Do you think me heartless? Towards but how husband, much worse yeah. would I be to calmly stay at the side of a man who murdered my husband? Oh, did you love... See, this? Th these are questions that I... Why couldn't I ask these questions before I had to side with her? Like, this would make... This, this would have made me feel a lot more certain in my decision but yeah did you love your husband it seems a strange word to describe a marriage our parents arranged when he was newly born and i still in swaddling clothes but yes i loved him he was reckless impetuous and charming had he not been king he would have made a dashing rogue for a band of players we were a good pairing he would not have wanted the burden of ruling any more than i would have liked remaining the silent wife in my husband's shadow Interesting. Hmm. That was interesting. I'm still not sure though. But that was an interesting answer. I'm gonna say, um, why did Logan leave Kaylin to die? Do you know? Kaylin was so idealistic. Yes. He the was. world was his storybook and he was the hero. Uh, my father is different. He's an idealist too. But he knows what idealism costs. They often clashed, but never seriously, never for long. Caelan would always come round to father's way of thinking eventually. And then the blight came. Caelan dreamed of uniting all the nations of Thedas against the Darkspawn. It was a dream he wouldn't surrender. What my father saw, however, was the boy he had swaddled inviting Orlesian troops back into the land he had bought to free of them. And for once, my poor, foolish husband wouldn't back down. Hmm. Yeah, see, I understand why Loghain was furious because he he knew how it would end. Everyone would have died. Like, that's what probably would have happened. Like, the Archdemon wasn't there. I didn't see the Archdemon. So do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like Loghain was correct when it came to the Battle of Ostia. But I feel like maybe if he convinced Duncan, maybe Duncan and Loghain could have convinced the king. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the king trusted them to the most. And I feel like if his two trusted, like the, his most trusted people spoke to him, maybe. I mean, we'll never know. Like what's happened has happened. But I feel like maybe, possibly, if they convinced him, maybe it could have ended differently. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to say we should tell um, people what really happened to your husband. We really should. They would not believe it, most of them. Even from my lips. Loghain is a hero they've looked up to their whole lives. Far easier to believe you or me a liar than him a murderer and tyrant. That's oh. why it will be critical to find some way to discredit him before the lands meet. We must have proof of my father's crimes for the bands or they will never believe us. Um, another question? Ask me whatever you like. Um, what do you think will happen after the lands made? Do you want me to try my luck at fortune telling? Yes. There was an old woman who read palms in the village of Gwarren when I was a child. 
She told me that I would have ten children and be bald as a winter heath when I grew up. <laughs> I can't say I put much faith in foretelling. Okay. What will happen depends much on you, Warden. Why me? But you certainly knew that already. Uh, okay. Hmm. I want to know a little bit more about your father. Ah, uh, well, he was once a farmer when he was a boy, if you can believe it. <laughs> I never could myself. He's useless with plants, for one thing. I remember my mother once asking his help with a sick rose vine. My mother oversaw the rose gardens personally. He touched it. No more than that. And it shed half its leaves like a dog with mange. She never asked for him to help with her roses again. <laughs> he bought her another one, though. He carried it back from Denerem with the branches overflowing his saddlebag. Despite the thorns tearing him bloody, he wouldn't let anyone else take it. He wanted to be the one to present it to her. My father has his faults, Warden. But he is far from common. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Did he plan overthrowing Caelan before Ostagar? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I had no inkling of my father's plans until Caelan was already dead. I would like to think that my father planned for the worst, but did not truly decide that Caelan was a lost cause until that moment in Ostagar. The alternative is difficult to imagine. Hmm. Alright, I'm going now. Then I wish you luck, Warden. Uh, thank you. Do you have anything to say? My lady, she will be forever grateful, Warden. Sure. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Um, maybe Alistair has something to say? I feel like he should say something. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. <laughs> Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Okay, well that makes me feel better. Because I... I mean, I kind of knew he was going to say that, but that does make me feel better. You still don't want to be king? I'm not a political man. Yeah. I like being a warden. There's real evil out there, and it's something we can fight. It's something we can defeat. Making laws, settling disputes, that's not me. No. I wouldn't have the first idea how to do it. Bless what him. do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Hmm. I'm just going to say I've agreed to support Honora in the Landsmeet. You have? <laughs> I'm relieved, actually. I know. The Landsmeet may not listen to you, and Al Eamon would go right back into a coma if you told him. <laughs> me, I'm relieved. I guess all we need to do is stop her father from taking the throne first. Yes. Right? Uh, yeah. Oh, he can't rule if he's dead. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna say yes. Yes. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, actually, hmm. I mean, it should be, that should, that should be the easy part, right? Right you are. We have to convince everyone there are monsters that need fighting. Who would have thought? Well, we've spoken to Honora now, which, you know. Oh, actually, who are, oh, I forgot about you. Hello again, friend. I forgot it looks about as though him. you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. <laughs> I actually completely forgot about him. I also was in prison. Ah, oh, look, us all Grey Wardens going to prison. Don't we just love it? Maybe it's the thing that we all need to experience to truly become a Grey Warden is to be locked up. Um, did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together oh. more years ago than I like to remember. Oh, wow, okay. He was exactly the same back then. Tough as stone and just as grizzled. Oh, I Duncan. think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only way he ever let himself down. Bless him. Um, I was hoping I could learn a bit more about the Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know. But it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be yeah. firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. Damn, some deep stuff right there. 
How many wardens are there? It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thedas. The oh, Anderfells are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Mm, maybe, actually. Uh, I do not know how to say that word. Have you ever been to the fortress in something? Good old W something. Once only, <laughs> and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lass. And very foreign. The wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me. But they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the wardens to rule. Oh. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. Damn. How are the wardens founded? It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure except that it began with a group of Ander soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinter themselves. They were the first ones to track down the archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. I'm not going to lie, guys. I think it would be really, really cool if they did, like, the first Wardens, like, game. I mean, I they might have done, I don't know. I've This is the first Dragon Age I've played. But don't you think that'd be really cool if they did one about the Grey Wardens and, like, how, like, they became, how they first became Grey Wardens? I think that'd be so cool. Ooh, love it. Um, okay, so why has it been so long since the last blight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching oh. for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, <laughs> it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between <laughs> What is happening? What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. It's that <laughs> voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. I'm not gonna lie, I stopped listening to what he said as he like leant into that bird cage and just stared into my soul. That was so funny. He just got that was such a weird angle. Um, okay, I guess the that's all The important now. thing to remember is none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Okay. So, we have saved the queen. Are they real people? No. Okay, cool. Cool. Is this my room? My room when and I can't- Open a yes. chest! It's fine. It's fine. They just did that to hurt my feelings. It's fine, I'm not hurt. So, I think there's some reading to do. Antiva. Haven't we already read this? Maybe not. Um, in the rest of this um, civilized world, it's a common belief that Antiva has no king. I assure you, gen um, blah, blah, gentle reader. No, we've read this. I assure you, gentle reader, because I said last time, oh, gentle reader, it's like Bridgerton. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I said that in my brain. I don't know. Um, that is um, untrue. The line of kings in Ativa has remained unbroken for two and a half thousand two and a half thousand years. It is simply that nobody pays any attention to them whatsoever. Ah, that's awkward. Um, the nation is ruled. Um, in the truth by the collection of merchant princes. They are not princes in the literal sense, but heads of ba banks, trading companies, and vineyards. Their power is conferred strictly by wealth. Ah, maybe I haven't read this. But Antiva is not primarily re um, renewed for its pe peculiar form of government, nor for its admittedly unparalleled wines. Um, Antiva is known for for the House of Crows, since Antivan are well known 
for being good at everything but fighting. It is more than a little ironic that Antiva possesses the most deadly assassins in the world. I swear we've read this. It make I swear, I swear we've read this. Anyway. Um, their fame is such that Antiva keeps no standing army. No king is willing to order his troops to assault her borders and no general is mad enough to lead such an, an invasion. The attack would likely succeed, but it, blah, 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 but the leaders would not see that day. The Bannon. Um, the Central Felden Rally has always been a paradox. No single band holds more than a few dozen leagues of farmland, yet together they govern the greatest territory than um, territory than all the tyrants and Arles combined. The collection of independent bands is known um, as the Bannon and is the heart of Ferelden politics. Not no, 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 no person has ever set, sat Yes. No person has ever sat upon the throne of Feldrum without first winning the approval of Bannon, of the Bannon. Queen Fionn, um, who was the misfortune, who had the misfortune to take the throne in the 18th year of the Still Age, wrote of the Bannon, there has been three wars since year, um, there has been, there has been three wars this year for over elopements five four over wall and one started by an apple tree it isn't even winter yet who would believe that these same bands now trying so hard to kill one another um just last year united to give me the throne oh okay the free marches. The free marches are not a king, are not a kingdom, nor even a nation in the most basic sense. People from the um, region dislike even being lumped together as marches. Rather, they are a collection of independent city states united only when it suits them. In the respect, they resemble the Bannon before the arrival of King Kaohan. Before, um, dip, dip, no, not before. Because of this, the free marches have no capital and what p passes for a central government exists only sporadically a sort of land me that com convert what does i say convenes only during these times of crisis i arrive in the um in time for the grand tourney whilst um it was on the i don't know what that says something a remarkable sight indeed i saw in the hillsmen test their met metal metal against all lane chivalries um riders from the antville buying never cavalry horses and even craftsmen selling their wares to tevinter mages all of theaters was on display guarin guarin um, the human settlement of Guaran is built directly on top of the dwarven outpost by the same name. Prior to the first flight, it is time um, in the time when Ferelden was not yet a nation and was still carved up into um, barbarian tribes. The outpost served as a source of soul and means by which the dwarves could reach the sea lands um, of the Amaranthian Ocean. Unwilling to come to the surface, dwarves made an agreement with the local town to build a port. Oh, and relied on the humans to ferry goods between the ships and the underground outpost. This made Gwarin a precarious place and extraordinarily wealthy for a time. When in, in the Divine Age, the Dwarven kingdoms fell to the Dark Swan and the deep roads were closed off, so too did the dwarves disappear from Gwarin, the human settlement um, the envy of surrounding barbarian tribes was assault assaulted and sacked in wealth stone. The town remained, however, and despite its remote location, continued to find value as a source of fish and timber. And the first settlement liberated by King Marek and Loghain during the Felderan Rebellion, Guaran was eventually granted to Loghain when he became 
tying in 9-11 dragon. Mm. Oh my god, I'm literally attacking my mic. I swear every episode I literally smack my mic. Uh, okay. Have I read this? King Marek Theron? Um, it is difficult to separate the man from the myth. The last survivor of the bloodline of King Kelhand, the Silver Knight, Marek drove the Orlane's forces from Feldon borders, reclaimed the throne, and freed our people from foreign ty tyranny? All true um, and larger than life. He was born in hiding near Cathal Crossing to the rebel queen Moira and grew up in the rebel camps an outlaw in his own country. When the rebel queen died, Marek inherited her homeless um, nobles, mal malcontents and displaced freeholds. And with the aid of his friend Loghain, Maktir built them into an army. After the pivotal battle in of Riverdane, Marek took the throne. He married Rowan, daughter of Rendon I don't know, Guerin? Isle of Redcliffe, and began the long, slow process of rebuilding everything Orlais had demolished during 70 years of occupant, um, occupation. Um, do, do, do. Characters. Queen Honora. Okay, she sent her maid... Alina to Al Eamon's estate to ask Alara's help in escaping from Al Hal. But as they fled Hal's estate and Nora in disguise, they were ambushed. <laughs> yeah. And um, there to. Uh, yeah, there to arrest Hal's murderer. A fight ensured and Nora fled in. Mm, in confusion, did she? Mm -hmm. um, did she? Did she fl fled in the confusion? No, she abandoned me. She made her way um, to Ewan's um, to Ewan's estate and there offered her aid in defeating her father at the Landsmead. Okay. Um, do do do. We've done that. Okay, so his health restored. Eamon called the Landsmead with the goal of wrestling power from Loghain and placing Alistair on the throne. Well, sorry, Han, that's not going to happen. Okay. So the Isle of Amaranthian winds along the Sinner's northern, what is it? northern estate coast of Felderan. The Waking Sea is known for, it, um, for its temper and the storms that sweep, sweep in from the warmer northern wake waters are sudden and brutal these are the lands of rendon howe oh. he was born during the occupation and like many of the nobles at the time joined prince marek's um join join prince marek's rebel rebels 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 my god i can't read i can't see either I know you guys told me to download a mod to help um, with the size, but I just I just haven't done it. I have no one to blame but myself. He fought alongside young Bryce um, Kelsland, um, future tyrant of High Ever, um, Elena's Byland, future of, of South Reach, at the bloody battle of White River. It was the most cat catastrophic defeat of the entire occupation from which only 50 rebel soldiers escaped alive. Ooh. Although he was um, decorated for valor by the King Ma Marek, Hal's abrasive manners have earned him almost universal dislike amongst his peers. Not surprised, he was a bit of an ass. I've got one character left. One character left, who will it be? Books and songs. Our fair damsel of the garden, our litter of honeysuckle and rose, I humbly beg you your gracious pardon for the off offense for the offense that here arose. Surely your work is far too vital to be interrupted by one like me. I am 
I am in no way entitled to earn the notice of a honeybee. I was a fool to pluck that flower for my lady fair on my honour eye, sweet, um, sweet to bring you dozens more within the hour if you give me leave to try. Listen, traveller, if you would walk the garden path to some spring, mind that you don't trespass, for the gardens do sting. Ooh. Okay. That is everything. Quick save. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Jesus. All right, guys, on that note, the video is going to be coming to an end. We got some stuff done. We got kidnapped. We got thrown in jail. We saved the queen. We, we, we were a wingman to Ogren. We were the best wingman ever. We, yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah. So yeah, we, we did quite a bit. So we've got Honora now. We've saved her. She's in Earl Armand's estate in Denerim. So she's safe and sound. And yeah, and we have devoted our, well, we've pledged our loyalty to her. I mean, do I think it's a bad move? No, because I think she will be a good queen. I just am a bit weary about not weary that's tied i'm a bit wary about um her how she's gonna be with her father because i'm not gonna lie he kind of has to die he he literally killed the king like surely that is high treason like if anything so i'm just wondering what she's gonna try and pull because i feel like she's gonna try and save her father and I'm sorry, Honora, but he must die. Sorry, but um, I feel like if I just have a feeling that it's not going to end well if he lives. That's just my opinion. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. But if you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a little cheeky like. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. And I'll see you all soon, guys. Bye.